on. Stephen Vogt, your AL Manager of the Year in his rookie campaign. Bold, did the voters get it right? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I was surprised he won by as much as he did. It I was thought it would be a much closer I, vote. I was too. Yeah. I thought it'd be very close. Yeah. Um, he got but, 27 of 30 first place. I know. Yeah. I was stunned by that. Why? Because Detroit and Kansas City I mean, had Kansas City had lost from the a- games Kansas the City before. had a from the ashes season, and yeah. it, and now I know the, the voting was done before the playoffs, and right. Detroit made quick work of a good Astros team in the playoffs to prove to everyone they're they're real. Right. But I, I got to tell you, I did not see twenty seven of thirty. I mean, Stephen Vogt, you look at this Guardians roster, like. Where are all the proven players? You got a couple of ball players. Well, it was not like the Royals had a million proven I mean, players what, what, either. Well, well, I'm, just, I'm just saying, but they they finished. I, they I, finished second with, with I, second best. They lost a hundred yeah. games last year. G. Stephen Volk came after Terry Francona. You know, I mean, writers probably wrote the Guardians off as oh, they about to fall off. Well, they well did they it. hadn't been good the year before either. Right. Wasn't even no, no, off. but two years ago they were very yeah. good. So you get Stephen Volk. And the talent was. I mean, the team was there. You get Stephen Volk. They really didn't have any top flight major name players besides Ramirez and the guys that they usually have. You take a look at the injuries to the starting rotation. That was big. I think that's what yeah, the voters I, looked at. Right. I just I thought more people would vote for the other guys first. I, I did too. I, I just thought it would I be think a you, little. You closer. could have made a good argument for all three. Stephen Volk. Good for him. I thought Vote would, would win. I thought that it would be close. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. What Hinch did in Detroit, too, they, they were sellers at the deadline. Right. Like, that has to be factored in. Now, I don't know that you can reward a guy because they were so bad in the first half of the season. Right. And that that's what a vote for Hinch would have done. But I but would Kansas say Kansas City, my God, they it, were they were a hundred lost teams. And lost if you team. look at the if you look at the talent on the rosters, to me, in terms of proven talent, the Tigers definitely had the least. Yes, I, I mean, would outside buy that. of Scooble, they had like no proven talent. None. Now I'm a little scared because <laughs> the Royals and the Tigers. No, that's our division. Yeah. And the that, and the Twins is twins liable to every other year to be good. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm a little scared. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. The division's going to be tough. A little nervous. It's not, it's the not. White Sox could improve by 20 games and they'd still lose 100. And, and and what happens, what kind of carryover is there going to be for Emmanuel Classe? That's a that's a huge question. Because I know wow. that people are not going to go gaga over his regular season. It's not no, going to feel as good. No. Now, he might pitch fine. I don't know. But, yeah. He but, should, uh, that's going to be a big question going into bull, next year. Bullpens are year to year, though. What they are percent? year to year. But Klasse, he has not been. He yeah. has, he's been one of those rare guys that has not been. Yeah. And there's very few of those, and he's been one of them. But I just wonder, that there's a confidence factor that goes uh, into that. No doubt. When you get dinged, the next time you go to the mound, you think about it. Even if you have a good or maybe two good outings, yeah. that one's always in the back of your mind. No doubt. And because it was at the biggest stage... Like, nationally, go around and interview baseball fans and ask them what they think of Emmanuel Classe. They say, oh, man, yeah. that guy was terrible in the playoffs. By the way, George Valera, who at one point was one of the Guardians' oh. top prospects, they essentially cut him yesterday. DFA. Yeah. Like, that's cr- – But – Never even got a chance whoa. in the majors. He's been hurt too many times. But, but this is my thing. Yeah. The same thing happened with, with Espino, right? No, he's still on. No, he's, he's still there. But, I mean, he's been hurt. But he's yes. been coming forever, Ever. and he, he can't, that was he can't get out of it. That was crazy. We're going to fast forward that one, though. We, that didn't even happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Speedo gets hurt again, I mean, he could easily be gone. He's you know, one injury away you, from it. I got you. Yeah, I got you, yeah. too. Yeah, like, I got that, you, too. That's why what we I didn't missed? say nothing. We no. Just, we, it's no. done. It was a oh. silent pause. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, it, I thought it was uh, like, you know, it was. But here's what we're going to say. Um, you can't get by anything by. No, uh, no. I, 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 are we ready to? Uh, what are we doing? I, I see the middle log jam is coming. Jimenez in his stick, right? Bazano is, is is playing second base, right? Yeah. If Jimenez is not going to be, he's a, not going anywhere. He's a Gold Glover, too valuable. Oh God. Too valuable. I so, move him to short. I well, bring Bazano up, short. I, and then Rokio is the odd man out. But you know what I want to see? Ro- I want to see April, May, and June. With Rokio, because I talked about how Classe's confidence is dinged, yeah, and that carries over. What carryover, if any, is there for Brian Rokio for the monster that he yeah, was in the playoffs? Gonna, Playoff Rokio tra- was uh, is elite. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to trade. Elite. They're the not trade Jimenez because he's worth more to them than other teams. He's, Nobody's given up a good package yeah. for him because he's been a slightly below average hitter and he's getting paid a lot of money. Listen, it was remi- I was reminded by it again this yeah. year. And I, I don't want to make a lot out of a drop fly ball from Aaron Judge. But let's face it, 
that kicked the door down, and they were already losing in the series, but they were coming back into it. You've got to be strong up the middle. You need a strong shortstop second base combo. They have that. You need a strong center fielder. You need a strong catcher. Up the middle, if you're elite, you've got a chance. But here's the problem. The only problem, Jay, is that they didn't pay him just for defense. Mm -hmm. No, I know. He's coming off a great the offensive Guardians year that we don't haven't... pay people no, I at all. So, with their payroll restrictions that they've put on themselves, right. if he doesn't hit, well, she that contract's going to be horrible. But th it, that's two I don't years even know that I'll say it's horrible hit. because he is an elite fielder. It, yeah, but elite, not just a, a gold glove fielder. I, I get it, but if he's a below, he's about to get like twenty I, million a year. I don't think he's a below average second baseman offensively. He I offensively, mean, I don't know second base specifically. He is a below average major league hitter. If I you would, look at OPS, he's I'm gonna been below put him, I'm going to put him slightly below as a major league hitter, but I'm going to compare oranges to oranges. I'm going to compare him to right. other second basemen. Yeah, he's I don't not know Jose where he ranks El, He's not Altuve, but, but, but also there are a lot of other second basemen that don't play as well defensively I know, that are not as good as he is and, offensively. And if they didn't have payroll restrictions, then it wouldn't matter. You're but right. he's got to hit more for him to I, be worth his money. I would love more so offensive you say, So you're saying they didn't win the Lindor conversation? Of course they didn't. All right, here we go. <laughs>